The show is called Pour, and it's made from about a thousand pounds of liquid rubber. Uh, a lot of that was poured on the floor here at Locust and then sort of hoisted up in four parts. And the four parts uh, refer to the four humors. So there's yellow bile behind me, there's phlegm, there's blood, and there's black bile. And um, that medieval theory of the body about there being sort of four liquids in your body and when those liquids are in disequilibrium, you're unhealthy, your temperament is off, you're physically and mentally um, unhealthy, uh, was very interesting to me as a theory for um, the body and how the body is and isn't a machine and how that refers to the liquid material of rubber for me in my practice. and. I then learned about Balanchine's Four Temperaments, which is a ballet, a modern ballet, um, and decided um, to sort of make, do a remake of Balanchine's Four Temperaments. Um, it didn't really happen in that order, but that's kind of a nice story to tell. So um, it's each sort of quadrant in the room uh, is a, a different sort of style of dance in a way and there's a different sort of choreographed series of movements that go with each temperament so yellow behind me the yellow bile is a proud dance and Silas the performer wears point shoes and he's it's very vertical and um, kind of irritated and proud and then he moves over to the phlegmatic area and that's a slow spineless kind of series of movements. Blood is a more sort of passionate dance and black bile is a more melancholic kind of task-based repetitive performance. But the exhibition was also made to just be a sculpture exhibition to some degree. Um, so these sort of mannequins that are sculptures that are sort of stand-ins for, for Silas when he's not performing. My sculpture I think a lot about movement and how static things can imply movement in a room and um, I think a lot about the body and the body under different types of pressure and the anxiety of the body um, in my work but this is the first time I've actually used a real body and a very virtuosic body in particular. first sculpture I made that's in this show is the sculpture sort of over there and it's um, it started really simply for me wanting to investigate some very sort of pure abstract things that happened in my last show um, so there were some forms that I just wanted to play with and that kind of evolved into becoming about that magician's trick where they cut a lady in half or in thirds um, so that to me over there is a sculpture kind of about the body being cut. It's very abstract. And that led me to wonder what colors would spill out of the body if you were to cut it. So I started thinking about, I just started looking at anatomy and it, literally what it call, range of reds and oranges and whites and yellows are in the body. And then I learned about the four humors. Um, it was sort of a, wasn't hard to then go from like color colors inside the bodies to learning about the four humors because it's a really specific like color story that the medievalists in terms of the four humors um, thought about. Um, so that's how that started. Studio practice is really important. I'm not a post-studio artist. I spend a lot of time in the studio moving things around. I definitely get fixated on materials. In a lot of ways, the material is speaking to me. And um, sounds very romantic, but I think it's sort of true. So the rubber is something I've used in my work for a long time. And I often want to use a second material that puts pressure on